In this video, we're going to take a quick look at exporting stems and songs within Bitwig. So the first thing that I'd like to do is be sure that I select the range of the song that includes all of our clips and audio events. So I'll come up to the top. And if you notice here that the cursor changes to a pencil and I'm going to come to just before the beginning of my song, click, hold and drag. And I'm going to take this loop region all the way out just a bit past the end of the last clip here because there is some reverb on this and I want to be sure that that's included in our exported file and stems. So now that we've got that set, we can come to the file and then near the center we have export audio. So we could also use control shift and B to access this menu. Clicking, we now have our export audio dialog. And first we'll take a look at the time range here. So if we have arrangement, this is going to be on arrangement by default. We can see it starts on bar one and ends at bar 66. Now we can, if we'd like to use this to export, we can actually click hold and drag up or down to select the end bar as well as the beginning. And even though our background is a bit grayed out, we can kind of see where our information begins in our range view. So if you'd like to use this method, the arrangement, then you can set these yourself. Double clicking, you can manually put in a value. I'll just put that back to the default. But we actually set a loop region up at the top here. So I'm gonna choose loop region. Now coming back up to the top, we can choose the format or multiple formats that we would like to export. So for this, I would like to choose the wave. So just clicking once we can activate that. And then we can choose the resolution. I'm going to leave that on 24 bit and we have the option to use FLAC, Opus, Vorbis and MP3. So I'd like to export both wave and MP3 for the resolution. 320 is good. Just know that we have the option of different resolutions for each of these formats that once you select, you can choose from the drop down menu. Now, next, we need to determine what exactly is going to be exported, because if we go ahead and make these selections for wave and MP3 and hit OK, we're not going to get anything exported. So we need to choose here. This project master would be for if we want to export our entire song as one stereo file, you want to be sure that that's selected. Now, in order to export stems, you would need to select the individual tracks below and then you'll have stems for each of those. So if you wanted to export stems for every track within the song, we could click once on the top track, hold shift, and then click to select all. Now we do have the option to select individual tracks as well as our master. So if I come back to select our master, now if I hold control, then we can choose individual tracks that we like to export stems for. And so for this video, I'm just going to select these three. We then can choose the sample rate that we'd like to export. And we have some options down below. So the real time, if you have external hardware processors effects that you're using for this song, then you'll want to be sure that you have this checked here. We then have the option to add dithering. Then we can do pre fader. So if we'd like to ignore any automation that's on our faders within this song, then you would want to choose the pre fader option here. And then finally, we have open target folder when done. So this is just going to open up the folder and the explorer on Windows or the finder on the Mac so you can immediately access the exported files. So now that we've got everything set, let's go ahead and click on OK. And we will choose the desktop just for this example as our location. I'll select that folder and then we can see in the upper right hand corner, the exporting process has begun. So we'll just come back in a moment when that's finished. Okay, now all of our files have been exported and you can see down at the very bottom, we have our two master files, one for MP3 and the other for our wave. And then we have the two tracks that I chose to export as well, the stems for, and we have wave and MP3 versions for each of these as well. Okay, and so that has been a quick look at how we can go about exporting audio within Bitwig. Thanks for watching.